All right. Hey, what's up, boys? It's uh, Pirate again. This time with another video of the World Cup. This is the final. So, uh, two weeks ago, we did beat the Germans. So that sends us into the final against the French. Now, my teammate LCFR won uh, yesterday. So all we need is one victory. So I'm facing my opponent. My opponent is Artenal. A uh, great player. One of the top, top players. Like, he's really fucking good. So let's see how the match went, eh? Uh, first one is this one. All right, let's go. Uh, I was very excited for the Artenal because he's not someone that I face often. Sadly, just, you know, with the time zone stuff, but he's great. Okay, let's go with the games. So, uh, yeah, I replaced most of that. I'm playing Karain. He's playing Lion the first game. So, we go with that. We see what's up. This will be I was super, super under stress during those games. So, ping him. See if we can steal something. It's Raphael before we're starting first. Not bad at all. It's good body, so it's nice. So, uh, he draw troops. I guess I, I guess at the time it was probably the cure. So, we get that from protocol. That's awesome. Hard removal. Awesome. Especially against La, the Dark Angels. Because they have such big fat fuck. It's, it's sometimes hard to keep up. So, we drop his Raphael. You know, it's it's good body. And, you know, maybe he deals with it. Maybe he doesn't. We have options. I don't think he deals with it. So, this is why I got many tactics right now that I can deal with this stuff. So, now he's dropping... Uh, the 5-5 five five with the quest. So yeah, that one. So, uh, he's drawing that here. I, I can't let that there. And he used this counter attack too. So, time to get rid of it. We did that. We used Draining Sight. And we're gonna Ash and Claw. Uh, I don't think he would have... You know, he did not take uh, the tactic one for the quest. That was good for me. I thought maybe he would have done it. Because Orphans of War, there's a lot of tactics. So, uh, he doesn't. So, that's cool. And uh, we smack him. And... We smack uh, face because this is a matchup that the longer it goes i don't i think it's harder for me so i i need to press things you know so he shoots it so that's fine because now he's on tree energy so not a lot he can throw my way because next turn marauder squads comes in and that's that's going to be very good for us so yeah basically not a dead turn but almost you know he, he killed my little troop but i did not care for it i had no use for it so drop marauders and we keep the four four i don't think i attack with it I'm pretty sure I keep it. Yeah, exactly. Keep the fucker there. Because, yeah, to get rid of uh, the stuff like it. He drops front line. That's fine. And he's going to get the cure there. So, I'm like, I top deck turd come. I'm like, let's use that. You know, bypass the front line and it stays on board. So, we use that one kit. It does not trigger quest, so that does not heal. We use our big boy here. Hit him for six. Six good damage. Still a card. Saber's nice. We like it. And instead of good things, I'm like, let's get some more, uh, you know, uh, see if I can get any cards or something. So we do that. So now he uses this guy, but he's not buff. So not that hard to kill. Uh, he's going to kill my continent. Yeah. But now he's on 17 HP. That's not easy for him, man. That's, that's fucking not easy. Okay. So I'm like, I'm feeling good. I got a handful of cards. I'm like, I don't care too much about most of the stuff. Drop front line, drop Tyro. See what's up. We're still gonna kill that though. We want him. We want to bait him. Uh, CPU's a uh, art removal for that. If he does that. That's fucking fine. That's fucking fantastic for us, boys. So yeah, that triggers quest, which sucks a bit because uh, that reduced the cost of his Deadwing protocol. Yeah. He may, I mean, he could have used it anyway, but now he gets to use uh, Malkal, which is not too much of a big deal. So uh, he does that. That's fine. We drop the saber that we stole, we ping that, and then we just drop front lines and mouth call. Always good to have energy manipulation. A uh, little buddies on the on the board here. Looking good, boys. He's on 14 HP. I got I got like four damage in hand. That's looking good. So he drops one front line. Two front lines. So now when I was playing, I was like, okay, now I need to do actual math. See if I can kill those. Those guys without triggering quests, because that's the thing. I don't want them to trigger quests. So I'm like, no way he thinks that I add the Twin Protocol, because Orphans of War don't have any art removal. So, kill the dead the fuck away. Uh, we use Malkiel. We use Karain here. I'm like, I don't think he picked uh, Warlord. So, I attack with my Warlord. And that was a good guess, boys, because he doesn't trigger any healing. So, I'm like, the Saber can go fight. He's on 6, H 6 HP. If he doesn't drop any frontline... 
that I can't deal with, I kill him with my uh, my hand here. I got t uh, four damage plus face. And even if he kills my old ball, I'm, I should be fine. So he, he shoots that, that's fine. And then use my call and get Melgator. That was good play there. But uh, that's not enough. So yeah, we got Lethal here. We're just gonna use our sexy tactics, boys. Hit him on the face. Use Ashen Claws. And then Garita. And there you go. That was... I felt I was in control the whole time. I had a very good hand. Good start. Stole good stuff. Just, you know, all around good game for me. I, I, was, I felt like I was always, uh, you know, dictating the game. So that was good. So that's for first game, boys. The first game goes to me. And then we go on the second one. Now, the second one, I'm not proud of it. We'll see. You boys will see why I'm not proud of it. So, shitty hand. I mean, could have keep uh, Irresistible Curse, but I'm like, no, I need early stuff. So I'm like, well, double phase gen infantry. Okay, that's that's, that's good. He opens with that. He starts first. He opens with that, which is a bit annoying for me. Because I wanted to, you know, uh, drop an infantry there. So nah, that's annoying. I need to sh I need to uh, hit him there. Get rid of it. And now I'm like, eh, might as well drop my phase gen there. Just to maybe, you know, make him spend Black Grenade or something like that. So that it doesn't come uh, uh, later on. Okay, so I'm like, let's drop those boys. See what's up. Uh, he kills one. So I get at least I get a card. That's fine. The call pressing is very nice. And he sent that back to my hand. Which was a bit annoying because eh, could have killed it for three damage, but whatever. So yeah, we now I think we drop yeah, Aladro squad. We go face on the Melgator, that way when he kills the uh Jaeger it dies too. So that's that's fine by me. And I still have another troop there, so drop that. And now he drops that troop there. I was surprised because I do not see that very often, like not at all. Here, I think I did a mistake, but it's hard to see. I think here I just kill it with the uh, counterattack. But what I think I should have done is use Melgator to send it back to his end because it's a costly troop. Then use local uprising to get a better board. Could have used the pings from the Jaegers and shit like that. So, But I don't think it would have mattered too much. But at the same time, he's low on cards. So, you know, now I do that. It's fine, but I still don't have Melgator on board. I'm, I'm probably thinking, like, let's keep it for later, but that was fucking worthless. He drops that, which is... Honestly, that was the end of me right there. I couldn't deal with that properly until for a couple of turns. Like, I could deal with... I, I dealt with most of it, but not all of it, so... Kind of fucked me in the ass a bit there. Drop Thurston Squad. Try to get rid of it as uh, soon as possible. We ping the boys. Ping again, go face on it, yup. And that's our turn. Nothing else we can do for now. So, now this is nasty. This is very nasty. Like, all the progress I had, which was not a lot, is gone. Like, he's just gonna heal up everything. And if it even takes the four damage, doesn't give a fuck. I, I wouldn't, so that's fine. So yeah, at least I get a Torsion Squad there. It's gonna be very useful. And then I have no boards, and uh, whatever I do, I need to kill that front line. I can't use my Brand of Fire yet; would have been would have been really good. So yeah, I'm like, okay, let's Melgator the front line there, and let's deal with the healing troop there. Can't have him at that. Otherwise, he's just gonna keep healing off my Jaegers, off my all my all my uh, small stuff. So fuck that, kill that, and then that sucks. But that's pretty much my turn. Maybe I should have hit there. Maybe not. Eh. I don't think it would have mattered too much, really. That wasn't a great turn for him there. Like, he's sitting on most of his cards. But, well, on his cards because he knows he doesn't have a lot, but... So he goes face with that. So if I had hit it, he wouldn't be alive. So that was probably not the best play for me there. Caliban Knights, I'm like, mm, let's drop some stuff. And uh, let's kill that because... Now I'm afraid of Endurance. Even though he only has two cards in hand, you always gotta watch out for Endurance. So I'm, I'm still like, let's drop those, see if I'm lucky or not. So, you know, worst case scenario, well, yeah. When I saw him attack me with that, I was like, He's, he has Endurance. Motherfucker. So that was nice. So, wipes my board again. He, he did, he killed a lot of troops this fucking game. Like, he was, he was really just beating my ass at that point. I was just trying to come back into the game and again and again, but... Wouldn't never really happen, so 
I'm like, fuck me. So I'm like, ah, oh, let's drop the Caliban's heart. Get rid of those uh, last rifle section, which are very fucking annoying right now. And I'm like, he's only uh, he only has two cards in hand. With two cards in hand, I'm at 10 HP. It's slow, but next turn I can strategic mastery, and I got a full board of big boys that can drop his HP under 20. So that's not too bad. So uh, yeah, chill, cause I only have 10 HP. Then he goes face, cause he knows he's got the advantage. And not only that, he's got another surprise. A great surprise for me. Another endurance. <laughs> oh, fuck. So at that point, I knew I lost. Like, there's nothing I can do here. Uh, I'm, I'm still gonna try, but it's like... That that second endurance that he top deck did hurt a lot. I was, I was really hoping that I could at least keep those on board and strategic master them and maybe get back into the fight. But there, then, even then, like, I, I try it again. I kill his friend, I'm like, you know, might as well try. Unless I draw, like, Unknow Allegiance or something like that, I'm fucked. So, you know, I'm just uh, seeing if I get lucky or whatever. I kill one of those because I'm like, well, if he has Black Grenade, well, he's just going to kill us all, so. Yeah. And now, yeah, now he gets full cards, so. This is, this is really just, uh... <laughs> Like he's got, he's back to 34 HP. Like I was not, that was not a good game for me. I got beat up real bad. So yeah, that's my, that's now my turn. Too late to do anything. So I was like, well, you know, might as well just commit suicide. Suicide is badass. So <laughs> just stop. I died. So that was second game. I got my ass beat. Like, fucking right. And that goes uh, into the last game, boys. Let's see what we got, eh? So, uh... We keep uh, most of it. I'm like, keep Star Side. Uh, Rootstorm's got good cards. They got a good card pool in general. So, uh, use Void Engagement. Nothing else to do. See if we get something. We got Brass Squad. I was, I was pretty happy with that. I like that uh, little squad in the tournaments. It's pretty annoying for the enemy. So, uh, I'm like, because otherwise, Jubak, I drop it and he dies. Now, if I drop Bar Squad, he needs to actually hit face on it and then use Counter Attack on it. Which is good. I don't want him having counter attack. It's annoying. But we do that. He hits there. The ping goes on him. That's good. We like that. And now he drops this guy here. So get some mutation stuff. So uh, now we gotta. We can deal with that though. That's a good ping on him. So it's not on our face. So that's nice. So now I got wrath. So obviously you play fucking wrath. And now for the blood god boys, look at those pings. Right on the face of the plague bearer. And then I'm like, fuck it, let's go. Right on the wrath, eh? If that's not for the blood god, I don't know what it is. <laughs> oh, I did my sacrifice well. Okay, so and I use his uh improper network, get rid of it. And that way he can kill one of the veterans. And uh so now he plays the frog, uh the toad. So I'm like, okay, interesting. I'm like I can probably salvage some more damage after that because I got two no survivors. I'm like, let's hit it, see where the ping goes. Face is fine. Then we use no survivor, and we see what we get. I was hoping maybe Nurgle Mark or Corn, but uh, I got uh, Terror. I mean, it's still one more damage. So it's not nothing. Now he's. That's where I want him. I want him with lower HP than me. This is why now I can be aggressive in the ping it system too. So that's good. He needs to attack me. I do not. I can So now he comes with Elite Health. So I'm like, I know he's got the mutant in hand because he generated one earlier. He got it. Okay. I'm like, I'm still very far. I'm very far from uh, his lethal range. I'm like, fuck it. Let's uh, let's fish for uh, a bike, a uh, speeder. Speeders here. So we take the speeders. And then I think I made a mistake. I played Jew back. Well, I go face there. I think I go face again because I know now he's in my lethal range if he doesn't add any front lines. Now, I think that was a mistake. I should have played No Survivor, knowing that I was going to use probably Speeders or Hunters. But again, it's hard to see that, you know, before I'm like, Drew back, he's going to have to smash into it. It's not on my face. He drops that guy. It's very annoying for me. So now, now I'm like, ugh, that's not good. Because I'm on seven uh, energy. So I'm like, ugh. I don't have a lot of options here. Like, I got stuff. So I'm like, fuck it. Let's go in. Let's go in. This is for the World Cup. This is the final match. If I win, Canada wins. So I'm like, you know what? Karn's been good for me throughout the whole tournament. Throughout 
the fucking four months I just played, he's been fucking amazing. So I'm like, go face, and where does the pin go? Right on his face. So I'm like, boys, corn's good for me. Corn, the blood god is good for me. So with that done, uh, I am now, we are now the victors. Canada wins the World Cup against France and wins the whole tournament. So now me, LCFR and Grumpy Ghost are the winners. It was an amazing journey. It was fucking hardcore. Like it took like since um, end of March or April. Like that was, a, that was, that's a long ass time, long ass tournament. So it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed every bit of it. It was super great. But man, when you win, you feel a lot fucking better, eh? So, uh, yeah, glad to have won. Uh, GG to all the uh, opponents I faced. That was awesome, boys. Uh, you know, sometimes you get lucky. I'm obviously lucky sometimes. So, uh, you know, you deal with that. So, uh, yeah. Uh, have a good one, boys. And I uh, hope you enjoyed that. See you later, eh?